And what happened in sentencing? They gave me, um, what was it, 242 months, I think, or 262, 242, I forget. But it was 20 years. You don't even realize that that the months, you kind of be thinking like, oh, 20 or some months, until you actually calculate it out. Yep. When you calculate it out, you'd be like, oh, my God. So you're 39 years old, and you know you're going to be in prison until 59. Did you ever lose your optimism? Like, was there ever a moment you just, okay. You know why? Tell me. Because the first time I got sentenced, they had brought the people that testified against me during trial. They brought them back for sentencing. And they were trying to give me life. They had brought them to testify to more drug. And the more drug they give me, the more time. The more time I get. And that's the thing when I told you. I was in the court one day and a guy walks in. This happened to me twice. He walks in and he looks straight ahead, comes through the door. My name is so and so. I'm from the FBI. You want to talk to us? I said, No, I don't. Okay, thank you. And walks out. He did it again when I was there. When I told my attorney, my attorney said, If you say it happened, they'll say it happened again. But they they used to come in, but they told me that it was because they said that when I asked a girl, how come they nobody talks to me? She said, because the attorney general of the state of Kentucky has a personal vendetta against you from getting away from these people. I believe that. So the attorney they got for me, penniless, Jewish guy named Penniless had just won a precedent-setting case, almost identical to mine. He sent me a letter that all four paragraphs, all three said, this went so well. Your, the hearing went so well. The he- this went so well. And they denied me. And I told the girls, that's because this is so easy. I've learned this. This is so easy for me to say, hey, Steve, Ward is coming through. Don't let her go when I got you on the next one. When they when I went to jail in Compton and they went into that judge's, went and had golf or lunch with him and he pulled me in his court, how easy is it now for me to, to ask a favor of you? Don't let her go. Because they said about all they told me if they give you five hundred years, don't worry, because you're going out on appeal. When they appeal your case, you're gonna win. Because it's almost identical to the guys, and they didn't let me go. So and I said, I understand that, because they probably said that that's probably what they said. So it's real simple. It's politics. 